you know, I really wanted to chat about something that I'm just a fan of yours. It's like your social media presence is so amazing. And I think it feels so natural. Like it seems like you're just being yourself and there's parts where you're being goofy and parts where you're just sharing like, here's my day and today kind of sucked. You know, it's clear to me that people are connecting with that. And then particularly on LinkedIn, it seems like you're killing the game there. What, I hate to say strategies, but I guess what made you want to lean into LinkedIn and, and just sharing your content the way that you do? Thanks. Yeah. I got on LinkedIn in September or October, basically because I had nowhere left to go. I was working on my business and I was like, well, how do I grow it? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to take it to the next level. So I had a friend and he's like, get on LinkedIn. Like you can meet so many different people who can help you. So I went on and I didn't really start posting every day, like actively until probably December or January. But I kind of looked around and I was like, well, no one's really talking about like all the hardships or the shit they go through. Um, Everyone kind of just posts like, oh, I got into X amount of stores or I closed 2 million fundraising rounds like today, whatever. Um, So no one was really posting the lows. And I felt really discouraged because I would have these really hard days and I would look around and I couldn't really relate to anyone. I'm like, am I going through this by myself? And then I started having conversations with more and more founders and they're like, yo, I had this shit happen to me and this happened to me. And I'm like, why don't y'all talk about it? Why don't you post it? So that's why I started posting it because I just wanted to like create relatable content. And if I can help one person and I'm putting myself crying on the internet, that's totally fine. I'm, I'm happy to do that. And I never really realized how much it resonated with people until like the past few months, probably when people started messaging me and reaching out and they're like, thank you for showing everything and not just the highs and being transparent. So yeah, that's kind of what, what motivated me to post it was to just show people that, yeah, like there are good days, but there are even more bad days and it's okay. (laughs) I love that. I think that's the whole thing about podcasting too. It's like, you can really hear from the founder and at some point it switches your loyalty, let's call it to the brand or what you think is the brand to all of a sudden like, oh, wow, there's like a real human behind this. And they're not like, they're really putting it out there for us every single day in order to get this product to your hands. And it connects people with the brand in a completely different way, which is, um, you know, I think the way to go, we've had people on that have sold their companies. And as they're, as we release the podcast, it's like the first time that his investors or her investors hear the full story of what they went through. And they're like, oh my God, like the investors are responding. Like I had no idea what you're so amazing. And this is after exit, you know, this is like eight years later and you're like, what? (laughs) 